Let's take a look at command line basics, using cd to navigate to a directory using a relative path. Let's take a look at where we are, the current working directory. Now, let's use ls to view the contents of the current working directory. We can use the bash built-in command cd to change directories. To use cd, we provide the name of the directory into which we wish to navigate. Let's use pwd to verify that we've changed directories. Notice that in the above invocation of cd, we only specified the name, baz. We did not type slash home slash lane s slash baz. This style of referring to a directory by only part of its name shows the use of cd using a relative path. The absolute path in this case would be slash home, slash lane s, slash baz. The relative path that we used was simply baz. Because we were located in the directory slash home, slash lane s, at the time we invoked cd, the part of the path corresponding to the current directory can be omitted through the use of a relative path. There are two special relative path components, dot and dot dot. Dot refers to the current working directory. Dot dot refers to the parent of the current working directory. Let's recall where we are. The current working directory, baz, is located within the directory lane s. We could refer to the parent by its absolute path slash home slash lane s, or we could refer to it as dot dot. Let's use cd and dot dot to navigate to the parent of the current working directory. Let's practice some more. What just happened? We told cd to navigate to dot. Dot is another name for the current working directory. Consequently, we stayed in the same current working directory. In other words, we didn't go anywhere. What just happened? We were in slash home slash lane s slash foo. 
we used dot dot twice. From slash home slash Lena slash foo dot dot would refer to the parent directory slash home slash lane s. But we use the relative path dot dot slash dot dot. If dot dot is the parent, then dot dot slash dot dot is the parent of the parent. In this case, the parent is slash home slash lane s, and its parent is slash home. So, invoking cd dot dot slash dot dot from home lane s foo takes us to home. Notice what we just did. We used a relative path, lane s slash ken lm, to navigate from slash home to slash home slash lane s slash ken lm. We could have called cd twice, but this way was faster. Let's go back and see the slower way. We used cd here to navigate one directory at a time. Just as we can use ls to look into subdirectories, we can also use cd to navigate directly into subdirectories. This work was created by Lane Schwartz. You are free to reproduce and adapt this work under the terms of the Creative Commons Attribution Share Alike 4.0 International License.